Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your MX records from Google or Microsoft Office 365 into Plesk so you can get your, your email working with Google Workspaces uh, or Office 365. So the first thing we need to do is log into the Plesk control panel. And we're going to go to domains. And we have to pick the domain that we're going to be adding G Suite to or Office 365. So if we go and we check out uh, G Suite uh, MX records, we can actually see the Google Workspace MX record values right here. So we have to add these values into the Plesk DNS settings. And so if you don't want to use the Plesk email, right? So if we go to rupaldemo.com, our domain name, and we go to mail accounts, and we don't want to use these, the Plesk mail, uh, we actually want to use G Suite, or they call it Google Workspace now. They want If you want to use Google Workspace, which has you know, a bunch of different um, features, a bunch of different things. You're using it for the mail. Um, Google Workspace, Google Workplace, or Workspaces is great for mail. It always goes to, to the inbox. Um, when you're emailing people, it typically never gets flagged as spam or it's never blacklisted. So if you're looking to you know, add your MX records and use Google Work Workspace or Office 365, that's great. I'm gonna show you how to add these MX records into Plesk so you can use Plesk hosting with your Google Workspace. So the first thing we need to do uh, to get those MX records in is we need to go to the Plesk DNS settings. So that's actually gonna be right here, DNS settings. And my domain name says not resolvable because I'm using Cloudflare. So since I'm using Cloudflare, I actually would need to add these MX records into Cloudflare. I can't, um, if you're using a CDN provider like Cloudflare, then this is, this is disabled by default. It's not even using the Plesk DNS. So let's go find a different domain that maybe, um, that maybe is using uh, the Plesk DNS. Okay, so this this domain, let's just say this this is my domain. Pretend this is your domain, whatever it's called, .com, right? This is my temporary domain created by Plesk just to do development on, but it the DNS is working. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. I'm gonna enable DNS and now DNS is enabled. So the first thing we need to do to add these MX records in for our domain, which I'm going to be using this as your domain in the example, we need to remove the current MX record that it currently has. The reason why we need to do this is because we're not going to be using the Plesk mail. So we need to remove this record. So I'm going to click remove on that MX record right there. And every time you make a change, uh, Plesk says, hey, you've made changes. You haven't saved them yet. Do you want to do it? And to click update. However, I'm not done making changes, so I need to go back to my MX records for my Google, and I'm going to click Add Record. I'm going to choose MX, and we're going to get the value and the priority. And so the Exchange server we're going to Exchange server we're going to use is this one right here, and it wants it as a priority one. We're going to leave this default, I believe. Um, so it says leave blank or at for the name, which is this right here, the name. We can leave this, uh, so that once it is to be 3600, TTL, um, time to live, that's what that is, TTL, time to live, 3600. And we click OK. And there we go, we've added one MX record. So we just need to do this for the next four different MX records that it wants us to add. So, I'm going to quickly do that. Uh, oops, MX, priority five, I believe. Yes, and then TTL is 3600. 
and we're gonna click OK. And we're gonna add this MX record again. And we're gonna add these priority tens as because these are just extra backup servers if their main one goes down. So it reverts you to the other extra backup server, their server. Oops. Click OK. And we're going to click OK. Now we're going to click Update to make my changes. And that's pretty much it. I've updated my DNS my for my domain name that is with Google Workspace. So I have to have be with Google Workspace. You have to sign up, uh, register, and then uh, it'll make you validate your domain. And then you'll add the MX records right here into the Plesk DNS update the plus DNS settings with the new MX records um, while we're also removing the MX records that connect your email to the Plesk. So, cause you know, we're not using Plesk email, we're using Google email. And the process is exactly the same for Office 365. So let's see the Office 365 MX records. I think um, they're generated when you sign up. So let me let's go to images. Yeah. So when you sign up um, and add your domain right here under Office 365, it will say uh, to add these MX records and the TXT record and also add a C name. So you'll have to add a C name, which is the auto discover outlook. So it auto connects when you you know connect your email to uh to outlook and registers it automatically and pulls the dns settings and everything to outlook and the you know ssl and all that stuff so but it'll also add one mx record which is typically this mail.protection.outlook.com one and you'll make it priority zero with the host name at just like we did leave it blank and then you'll add the txt record for the spf uh for protectionoutlook.com just to make sure, you know, your uh, emails go to the inbox more often than the spam for your domain. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you edit your DNS settings in Plesk to work with G Suite or uh, Office 365. Thank you.